So welcome everybody to another review as read. Today we'll be reviewing Dragon Wing, the first book of the Death Gate series by Tracy Hickman and Margaret Wise. Now of course this book series is the source material for the very popular point and click game Death Gate. And it's also why having enjoyed the game so much during my youth, I seeked it out and read it. Now first thing of note is the storyline of the book and games are totally different with only general background similarities. So with that point made, Dragon Wing is the story of how our protagonist Haplo, of a race called the Patrons, escapes the prison known as the Nexus, built for them by the Satan, and goes on an adventure into the realm of air. Arianus, on a mission to find out for his lord about what the Satan have been up to and to ferment chaos in the realm without revealing himself, so his lord can come in when he is ready to save, in quotation marks, and then rule the realm. Getting to the pros first, the world and lore of Dragonwing is amazing, and this fantasy world feels so different to others. For example, although there is conflict between the standard elves, dwarves and men, which are called the Mensch, the main conflict of the series is between the demigods, the patrons, and the satan. This book has so much detail that there are references about things at the bottom of many pages about the world, such as types of fruit, fauna, culture, etc. In fact, the world is excellent for an RPG world building exercise about how to subvert normal tropes, such as dwarves being called gags in this world, who are totally peaceful with their language a shorthand for proper English, such as the god machine they tend to being called the Kixi Winzy, and their leader being called the high foreman, or their gods being called managers, a play on the word manager over the centuries. This detailed world thus makes the reader want to learn more and uncover the mysteries of the Kixie Winzy or characters you meet like Bane and Alfred and their parts in the larger tale. Throughout the book, you really do feel like you are exploring a new land, like Haplo. Cons wise, the book feels like a detailed side quest, as not much of the book is about the Satan and Patron conflict, or even the Sundering, and focuses more on the Mensch or other inhabitants of Arianus which although interesting pales in comparison in scope to the series conflict. It is akin to reading about a common soldier's brave horse in the wars of Attila the Hun. In fact, to this point, Haplo does not appear till chapter 17. The end of the book too is a con as it is without spoiling the book, an anticlimax that just ends suddenly after a whole book of build-up. Now, I usually review books as standalones, but in terms of Dragon Wing, it is definitely intended to be read as a series, as at the end of the book, a lot of questions still loom within Ariana's, and especially in the bigger scheme of things. In conclusion, it is a good book, and I like exploring the world filled with a lot of good ideas of world building and lore. But having enjoyed the video game so much, I must say the book did not live up to expectations, and I can't help but feel my want to continue to read the series is due to nostalgia. So, if you like content like this, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Thank you very much. Till next word.